Hello, Frugal Force. Once again, this is Captain Frugal, and I want to start off with just saying I know it seems like I am really beating on Dan Slott right now from Marvel Comics, the Marvel Comics writer SJW extraordinaire, but he gives me so much ammo I don't have choice. And and also, if you look, I have a lot more videos on other stuff than him, but just right now he's just giving me so much ammo and I guess some aggravation. So I wanted to show is that Dan Slott just has, he's cancer of Twitter. He has diarrhea of the Twitter fingers. If you look at this, he's getting responses to his mean tweets as usual because he's constantly going against our president. Even, you know, July 2nd he went off and he got roasted by people. And I just want to make some points here. Uh, one person, he's doing not only his job, he's talking about Trump, this is, this person is, in response to Trump, to, uh, I'm sorry, to Slot, but also the job Obama never did, as well as crushing fake news. People love the president of the United States. And Dan Slot, of course, goes, no modern president has ever reached such a low approval rating so quickly. You can say fake news all you want, but that's a fact. Actually, he's wrong about that. If you look at the facts, uh, there has been. So he's he's wrong there. Uh, so, as a matter of fact, I think it was Clinton. I'll have to look into that and get back to you. Then some people said some ratings that predict his same ratings that predicted his loss, right? And Dan has to go again and try to manipulate the argument. I don't think you understand ratings when polls are, which sources they come from and how they work. But please keep enjoying Twitter. In other words, if you don't use my sources and my twisted bias sources, you can't possibly be right. Dan Slott loves to do that. He cherry picks his sources, which are notoriously known for being proven wrong. Because he only looks for things that are in his echo chamber that reflect what he wants to see. And so another person says, much as I love what you do, I am a loyal fan as well. I ask you to please step out of the bubble you live in and see how things are silenced. We work 40 hours a week or more and still can't make ends meet. Or have you chose between paying rent or getting food? You know, even Dan Slot fans are getting absolutely tired of his tirades. My uh, one of my partners on my website, Henchman One, is is a leftist, a diehard leftist, and that's one of the things I like about that. I like to have a balance on the website, and even he cannot stand the liberal push and craziness from the Marvel side, especially Dan Slott. So Dan Slott also said, "Did you see last night that even the doctor is disgusted by Trump? Big deal." And then, have you ever wondered if maybe you're in a bubble yourself? Evidently, this guy is completely ignorant of his actions because anybody that says anything he disagrees with, eventually he will block, usually after a short period of time, which means Dan Slott lives in a political echo chamber. He works with all people that agree with him. Otherwise, they don't let him in the industry, even if they don't, even if they're much more talented, I might add. And he surrounds himself constantly by people that always agree with him. If not, he will, he will block you and then belittle you and have fun with it. So once again, your echo chamber, Dan Slott. People who work that hard should have affordable access to health care, not a party taking money from sick or tax breaks for the wealthy. He's absolutely right there. I agree. You should have access to. And that's the funny thing we do with affordable health care. It really wasn't that affordable, was it? It was so unaffordable that people couldn't have access to it. So once again, a mistake on Dan Slott's part because he doesn't know what the heck he's talking about. People working that hard deserve a president works too, that doesn't watch TV five hours a day and goes golfing 34 times this early in his term. Evidently, he didn't pay attention to Obama at all or a lot of other presidents because he only cherry picks what he wants. But let alone this, remember, comes with from a prof supposed professional that complains about writing two comic books a month. Ooh, hard life. A professional that constantly whines about deadlines and can't keep up. Yeah, you're a pro. Pot, meat kettle. And this person, but you clearly don't play on a golf course. A lot of business is actually conducted on a golf course. It's a relaxing atmosphere where thoughts and things can be discussed and ideas can be panned out. Proving once again, Slot knows nothing about the economy, nothing about government, truly nothing about business. Heck, he probably doesn't know much about anything. Trump plays golf, right? If he understood that, why did it take such a big deal about Obama playing it? Did you like the hypocritical precedence? Now, granted, I agree with him there. President Trump is not the, my best first choice either, I'll admit that. It was a little hypocritical of him. But I will say, Dan Slott accomplished more, I mean, not Dan Slott, I'm sorry, Donald Trump accomplished more than President Obama did in such a short time. Deal with that, Dan, which accomplishes very little. And then this other person, OK Pork Chop. Dan, aren't guys like you too busy <laughs> taking the Marvel brand with your SJW, I'm not going to say that, take a break from Twitter and try writing something decent. And I agree with that. His writing sucks right now. Maybe if he actually spent more time, he could actually write something good. In the past, he's wrote some great stuff. I think his writing is really taking a hit based on his lack of effort put into it and his focus on the wrong areas rather than his job.
Now here's where it gets a little bit even more fun. Okay, outside of three months last year, Marvel has been the industry leader for overall a decade. They're doing just fine. Really? Bullcrap. Marvel even knows that. They pretty much admitted it themselves, but here's where it gets really funny. For example, here's the latest list. Available industry sales breakdown. Enjoy your social media buy. Notice it's by Diamond. The same company that he will go and say, well, they're just estimates when it doesn't work in his favor. I've seen this. He's been proven with facts before and then, well, Diamond doesn't count. Those are estimates. First of all, Diamond is what they sell to the comic book companies, the, the comic book stores. That's not actual pulled off the shelf bought by you and me. And here's another fun fact. Yeah, Marvel's the biggest, but Marvel also charges more per issue. So if this is dollar share, this doesn't mean amount of things sold. Dollar share. They have a higher price point. And if you've noticed that Marvel has been pushing extra issues on comic stores, over inflating their sales. I have a video on this discussing that too. So once again, Dan, nice try. This is fictitious. Now, if you actually probably took all the free issues given to comic, actually not free. They make comic shops pay for that. They over inflate their orders. They would say they order 100 issues. They sometimes double in things their orders and shove them on them. And if you don't want it, well, they'll threaten to blackball you. Blacklist you because you must be a hater. So complete bullcrap. Once again, Dan Slott here manipulating facts to get his way, which this is not even a fact. He, as I said, this is estimates, not actually bought the shelf, sold to comic book stores that they've inflated sales themselves. Good job, Marvel. So this person says <laughs> all this stuff. I, I'm not going to go into mean stuff like that. It's probably because you all grew up getting our values from superheroes. No, actually, speak for yourself, Dan. Pretty sure I got my values from my parents. Odd, I know. I and, and they're still together. Who'd have thunk it, right? This person just body slammed Dan Slot. You know, some of us have parents. Good thing you didn't get your values from Trump, defrauding people with Trump, you saying how horrible things about Mexican POWs disabled. Now, just, I want to make a point here. Remember, values, defrauding people, he just pretty much told a lie, and he knows this. He has to know about the dollar share and that bull crap. I've caught him spinning lies like that before. And remember now, this is very key. Defrauding people with Trump saying horrible things about Mexicans, POWs, and your stable. Oh, horrible things about people. This is the same Dan Slot that said the uh, wonderful thing of, uh, let me pull this up here. This is a tweet from Dan Slot. Scared by the number of people saying don't go to work for a company like Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby then. This is America. Go build Hobby Lobby in Christland. Once again, go build Hobby Lobby in Christland from Dan Slot. The same person that has the audacity to say horrible things about Mexicans, POWs, and disabled. In other words, as long as he's saying horrible things and picking and choosing who he says them about, particularly Christians, by the way, it's perfectly fine. You are a hypocrite, Dan Slott, and that's very rude. And wait, what marriage is he on now? How many of his wives have been faithful? Okay, yeah, he has had married many marriages. Can't argue with that. That's a fault on Trump. Absolutely. And don't forget this charity with children's cancer that used to funnel all this money, right? Which has not been proven yet. Once again, no proof. And then here is the absolute smackdown. You should talk. Is brought up to him. Dan Slott eviscerated after cyber stalking Philly charity run. The main event in the past uh, is he was Twitter stalked by Dan Slott. Dan Slott is known to Twitter stalk people. He searches his name, and if you say anything bad about a comic he writes, he will go after you, say mean things to you, and things like that. You say anything back, he'll act like, oh, I was so innocent, and block you and talk crap about you. Well, this gentleman here was doing a charity run, and he asked, which shirt do you want me to buy and wear for the charity run? And one was a Spider-Man, the Superior Spider-Man, there were some other ones. And just because he just put that, remember, this is for charity, Dan Slott went after him. Really? What a piece of work Dan Slott is. And notice here, mic drop, because that's that's pretty much all you need there is boom, it was done. Dan Slott, writer of Spider-Man. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. Now, I want to point up something here. Notice when something is thrown in his face and catches him and just really hits him, once he starts realizing he's lost, he disappears. There's no more Dan Slott here. And this is from July 3rd. Dan Slott is on now. Oh, now. And he's constantly on Twitter. So just to make sure I, I don't want to, you know, come off as wrong there. Okay, I'm going to go back to, okay, they're going to Dan Slot Twitter. Here we are. I'm going to go to Dan Slot's Twitter page and 
12 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago. So he's had plenty of time to respond to that. So as you see, he hasn't. So once again, Dan Slott will speak out, lie about facts, gets called out, and when he gets caught and called out, he runs like a chicken. Or, and, it make, and if he gets too hit, too hard, he will also delete his tweets that made him look like a real dirt jerk and try to hide it and play super innocent. He's done that at forums consistently, and any time he gets into an argument on Twitter that he can't handle because he gets beat down when facts start getting used. And notice he's right back at it. So, once again, this is a Marvel writer. Why do I mention this? Why is it so important? My thought is this. Now, I don't believe in boycotting everything because really I understand the business logic of it. No matter what you buy, you're going to be supporting somebody who believes in something you don't agree with. Okay? Absolutely on that. But here's the issue. How long will Marvel let this last? How, what does Marvel really think of you if they're hiring people like this that talk to their customers like that? I want you to think about that. How does Marvel really value you? Do they deserve your business when they allow and know this is going on and allow these writers and things like this to act like this and treat people like this online, let alone chastise half the potential buying market for their product? How long will you stand to let that happen? Will I buy some Marvel products? Sure. When I like them and think they're good, will I buy something by Dan Slott? No. It would have to really surprise me to make me do. For one, his work has been crap lately. And on top of that, his behavior doesn't warrant it. I've seen him turn off so many fans of the industry. Him and other, some other writers too. But he's a, one of the big offenders and one of the most hypocritical, ignorant people out there. And I know I'm sounding really mean about him. I am. I apologize. I wish him the best. I wish him a successful career. I wish him to wake up and be enlightened. To realize how hateful he is being. Because he has potential. And he has greatness in him. I would like to see him have it. So let me know, what are your thoughts on this? Will you buy comics from Marvel right now? Would you buy comics by Dan Slott? What do you think about his Twitter tirades? Do you think he's being professional? Let me know in the comments, or even send a video rebuttal. I would love to hear your side. Well, thank you for listening, and until next time, keep it for I do appreciate you watching this video, and if you do want to help support me in Little Frugal, the best way to do that is to go ahead and join on Vidme. Go to my Vidme channel, as you see here. And the ways you can help me is two ways. One, you can leave a tip, or you can subscribe for just $1 a month. That's the best way to help support me. So once again, it's go to Vidme. If you're not already here, if you're using YouTube, go to Vidme. You can either tip and or subscribe. That would really help Little Frugal and I to continue to be able to do this and have this fun together. I would really appreciate that. And until next time, keep it frugal.